How's everybody doing? Uh, welcome over to the Shooting Bench, formerly known as the AR-47 Vet Channel. Um, changed the channel name, no big deal. Today I want to talk about uh, Hill & Mac Gunworks, the STG-44N, uh, shipping delays, orders, pre-orders, and lack of fulfillment. Um, I'm just going to delve into my uh, personal experience with Hill & Mac. I'm not telling you what to do. Um, but I would base this off a, uh, I would take this as a good um, field gauge of what's going on with that company. Um, nobody's really too sure, but I'm just going to delve right into it. We're going to start at the beginning. Um, late 2015 to SHOT Show March 2016, Hillamac announces their STG-44N uh, semi-automatic rifle. Pre-orders start almost immediately after start second quarter of 2016. Shipping of guns is announced to be in October of 2016. November 2016, I place my pre-order uh, for an SCG 44N, the magazine that comes with it, and two extra magazines, roughly 1900 and something dollars and something cents. Um, told that day that due to large pre-order fulfillment uh, my gun won't ship until April of 2017. They take my FFL information. Fast forward to April of 2017. April 28th, 2017, I call looking for a status update. I'm told that uh, my order is now pushed till uh, mid-June of 2017. All shipping has stopped due to bad magazines and will resume after they get the new magazines sometime in the middle of June. Of 2017. Fast forward to the end of June. Uh, call for a status update on Friday, June 30th. No answer. Called during business hours. I called uh, as soon as I got home from work. At that point in time, it would have been about 15:30, quarter to or, uh, half past three o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, quarter to four somewhere in there. Uh, no, 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 no answer. Left a message. I never returned. Never got a return phone call on that. Um, July 2017, I start Facebook checking their statuses. I, I don't know why I didn't go on there in the first time or uh, before I even ordered, but however, I went on there, I leave a review. It's a positive review. I recommend this company. I have faith in this project. SCG 44 is arguably my favorite uh, weapon throughout history uh, because it is the grandfather, it is genesis of all modern fighting rifles. Everything from uh, HK to the AK-47, even though Kalashnikovs that did have an influence, uh, the outward appearance would say otherwise, uh, the M16, the M platform, your AR weapons, it is genesis for everything we know as a modern gun. This is why I want this gun. Firm believer in this project still up to this date, uh, up till July 2017, start for Facebook following, checking their statuses that they're leaving. At this point, they're starting to do video updates that are supposed to be done weekly. Uh, you know, I leave positive comments, yeah, keep up the good work, keep us, thanks for updates, da, 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 so on and so forth. At every video update, at every post, it is the same excuse at every single turn. We are waiting on parts, our uh, parts manufacturer, you know, cast the wrong material, or, you know, they're not hardened correctly, or the magazines aren't right, we're going to redevelop the magazines to this, magazine springs followers whatever pick an excuse it was the same one at every single time and it was always parts related it's always bad parts fast forward to january 2018 call again on my order i haven't called i've just been patiently waiting um called my ffl see if they'd heard anything they haven't i then call hill and mac in january of 2018 i don't remember the exact date uh, told waiting on supply Waiting on supplies to, or their supplier, to remake uh, bad casting parts for the internal, I think they told me the, the bolt carrier. Um, once those are done, they're going to resume shipping because the magazine issue is fixed and they should start shipping by quarter three, 2018, which tells me that they had to remanufacture every single bolt carrier that they had. Okay. So up to this point, 
This is where I start thinking. This is where I start becoming, stepping away from the fanboyism of the gun, and I start thinking. If I had a part supplier that continually shipped me bad parts, improper castings, improper hardnesses, I'm a welder. That's what I do by trade for the United States Navy. I know what I'm talking about when it comes to metallurgy. If I had a supplier, and the Navy would do the same thing, even though it takes the government forever to learn from their own lessons, we would, as a government entity, the Navy itself, would move to a different supplier. So at this point, you're starting to get some unrest in your comments on Facebook. You have people starting to drop nasty grams, people starting to change their reviews, people starting to change their opinion about your company. Your supplier at this point is now costing you your reputation and business. Keep that in mind. If it was me, I grew up as a contractor's son. My dad would have done the same thing. I don't have a degree in business management. However, I, uh, I do know my old man would, uh, would totally do it. He did do it with his roofing supply uh, delivery company. Two different jobs. Both jobs I was there working. It was summer jobs when I was out of school. <laughs> Supposed to get rooftop delivery. They dropped all the shingles off on the front lawn of the customer's houses and just bounced. Second time, my dad just said, screw it, I'm never using you again. Pretty simple. Fast forward to March 20th of 2019. Fast forward an entire 14 months. March 2019, Monday. Ian, Gun Jesus from Forgotten Weapons, comes out and puts out a video about Hudson's Chapter 11, the inevitability of the fall of the company, why it fell, what happened, and in the video, Helen Mack is brought up. Ian, I didn't know this, I found this out at a later time, uh, at that point in time, had a pre-order placed in full for uh, one HMG and I want to say two or three magazines. Uh, at that point in time, he called and requested a refund. He didn't tell anybody that, I found that out much after the fact, called and got a refund. I don't know if he ever got his refund, but he called and asked for it. Um, and he, he, he talks about their potential bankruptcy and, and the cons to doing a full buy-in pre-order like Helen Mack had all of us do. At this point, I start thinking, you know, what the hell? They've gone comms dark. They're not updating their Facebook page. Uh, at this point, uh, last Facebook post or update is in December January, or excuse me, December of 2018, before Christmas. Talking about how they're waiting on parts, they should have shipping soon. It's always soon, it's never a date anymore, it's just soon. Um, so the 21st, the next day, at 16.30, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I call. Uh, to check the status of my order, not to question, you know, hey, you guys going out of business, what's going on? I didn't even bring up the uh, Forgotten Weapons video, it was never even talked about. At least not for me. Um, after I asked my question, and hey, when, well, when's shipping going to start? Um, I, I asked a couple other questions, like when are you going to start shipping? What's the hold up this time? Can you give me specifics? They re never refused to give specifics. So I asked who their supply company was that's doing their castings. They told me it's none of my business and that you don't need it. Well, the way I look at it is I have $1,900, almost $2,000 stake in your company. Um, that would make me a vested member along with the hundreds of other people that have done the same that you've taken free interest free loans from to finance your gun he becomes immediately hostile accuses me of watching ian's video says that's the whole reason i called uh, again i never even brought it up i told him yeah i seen the video i go but that's not why i'm calling i go you're not hudson uh, i don't have a you know h9 and it's not in for repair, so I'm trying to figure out what's going on with my, my STG. Um, at this point in time, I'm uh, I'm told that I need to, and I, I'm going to quote this, I'm told to, you need to either ask for a refund now, or, and I quote, shut up and wait like everybody else. I didn't take that very well. I changed my attitude, my demeanor. I become aggressive over the phone. Um, first and foremost, I don't know who the hell you think you were, are, or are going to be, but one, don't ever talk to a veteran like that. 
and I don't ever use my status as a military member to benefit ever. Very rarely will I ever ask for a military discount on anything unless it's like a car part that's like super fucking expensive. Anyways, uh, tell them who the hell do you think you are talking to me like that? I go, I don't know about you, but you have my money. You work for me at this point. You're developing a gun that we want. Without us, you wouldn't even have funds to do this. So let's just get back to my original question here. When are things going to ship? At this point, I'm told three weeks there will be weapons shipping out of the factory for customer fulfillment. So I look at the calendar and I tell him three weeks from the 21st. He goes, yes, I count off the days. So I go, by the 7th of April, you should have gun shipping, correct? That's absolutely right, sir. And then I tell him, all right, I go, I'll call you back in three weeks. Hang the phone up. Fast forward to the middle of the second week. I want to say it was the 8th or the 9th of April, I call to check status, see how many rifles have shipped. Not to who, not whose orders have been filled, no PII, nothing. I call just to find out the shipping. No answer. I called at 12.30 in the afternoon, as soon as I got home from my shift work. Got, first thing I did, I was still in uniform. Called. No answer. Left the message, never got a return phone call. So, I've been paying attention to Facebook at this point, June 2018, I forget, I think it was, it was June 18th. They release a update saying, hey, we see some posts, you know, people want to know what's going on, this, this, and that. Now, mind you, they promised us a year and a half ago, two years ago, that they'd be doing weekly updates. And it went from weekly to monthly. And then it went from monthly to absolutely nothing for like eight months, nine months. Um, comms dark, completely quiet. Same excuse. Hey, our supplier, da 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 da. We're waiting on you know better parts, bad parts, this, this, and that. Orders will ship soon. When soon? Because soon, soon was the in 2017 in quarter one when I called. That's when soon started. Soon, soon, soon. So on the third of July, I call back and I ask for a refund. Guy is extremely pleasant to me over the phone, I find this to be very unnerving. Everybody's like, oh, that's great customer service. You don't understand these people. It's not. Um, <laughs> so how this works is I call. They tell me, okay. They say it's in full. They confirm my order number. I confirm my order number. They confirm my mailing address. I confirm my mailing address. They say the check will be put in the mail. Now, I call them at like 10.33 in the morning. On the third, I was on leave. They didn't answer the phone because they're screening their phone calls, I figured out at this point. I leave a message. Legally, they have to respond to the message that I want my refund. I want my order refunded in full. End of story. I don't care about any other drama anymore. I just want my money back. At this point, it's been almost three years. It's the same excuse every time. I want my money. I told him to do that over the phone. He goes, I understand this, this, and that. We'll be glad to give you your money back, sir. Well, just let me conf confirm a few things. Let me go through the rigmarole. The check will be in the mail today. The check will be in the mail today. So if he went and dropped it off at the post office, even by noon, because uh, I immediately went down to the post office, which is right down the street from my house, and asked them, hey, if the check got sent out in the mail today, right now, like sent to the post office right now, today, from Georgia, how long would it take to get to here in Virginia? Now I'm in the southern eastern half of Virginia. I'm in Norfolk. They said even with the holiday, if you remove the holiday, it's a two-day transit time. You should have it somewhere between the 6th and 8th. Today is the 14th. It is the 11th. And 11 days past the date that I called. Asking for a refund. I called them on the 8th. After business hours, left a message, said, hey, no check in the mail. I called them on the 10th, left a message. During business hours, no return phone call, asking where my check is. Um, this is going to continue to become a bigger problem. These people are, this is my personal view on it, and this is me speculating. This gun is probably never going to come out. What is going to happen with Hill and Mac is they are probably going to do a STG area uh, Hudson 9. They're going to fold. 
because they bit off more than they can they can chew. Because they had to R and D an entirely new gun. Um, I'm sorry, the blueprints and the specs for the STG forty four already exist. You simplified your trigger pack problem by not in reinventing the wheel, but by simply just using an H and K trigger pack, which is extremely smart on your part because I don't know if anybody else has ever seen the inside of a Stig forty four, an original trigger pack. You basically have to be a clocksmith to work on it. There's something like twenty two springs on the inside. It's re it's gnarly, and when they break, uh, you either have to have a gunsmith make the part and rebuild your entire trigger pack, or good luck finding. A, a new old stock or an original old part to replace into that unit. Okay, so now you have to redesign everything else though because you have to take it from a single sh uh, select fire to a single fire. No, they actually didn't. What they did is they had parts cast almost, ide almost identical to the original parts. In fact, the original bolt carrier and uh, The hook, the, the hook that is used is not a standard piston, it's a hook system in the Stig 44 that runs with the gas the gas system, the gas piston, is uh, almost identical. What they had to do is they had to change a couple parts uh, for feeding to accept 223, 762 by 39, 300 blackout, and uh, the original 8 mil Kurtz, actually, um, because the feeding system is a little different on the uh, semi-auto versus the full auto. Um, in fact, they came out rightly and said in March uh, 2016 that their gun would not work with a full auto trigger pack. Um, I can't tell you how to spend your money. I can't tell you what to do. Uh, I'm not speaking illy against this business, so it's not slander. It's everything I reported is 100% factual. I've been keeping it in one of my wet dry books, but I just don't use. Um, you're probably never going to get this gun. And if it does come out, it's probably going to be another four years down the road. Uh, I can't view posts anymore on their page. I'm pretty sure they blocked me from posting. I can't even view other customers' posts. Uh, I pulled my order at like the 30 month mark, the 29 month mark. I got sick of waiting. 29 months is a long time to wait for a gun that was supposed to be shipping three years ago. Full customer delivery three years ago. Order fulfillment three years ago. This gun is ready to rock and roll. Fully, full production is in swing. That's exactly what they marketed it as. What they really did is uh, they crowdfunded without crowdfunding. They took all of our money. They improperly used our money. They continue to use a bad supplier, uh, which in turn is killing them. If they're not ready to file a Chapter 11, I would not be surprised in the next 12 months to see them filing a Chapter 11, and it will probably be kept very hush-hush. I've, uh, I've taken this matter to every single big YouTube channel that I have ever had interaction with. Mr. Gunzinger, Yankee Marshall, The Gun Collective, uh, Demolition Ranch. Who else do I watch? Four Guys Guns. I mean, there's someone, Tell Flater Mouse, everybody, everybody that I physically have a subscription to, I have sent Facebook messages and Instagram messages to saying, hey, you might want to look into this. These people are pirateering off of the Second Amendment and gun owners. These people are scamming actual gun owners. I've yet to get one reply from any of the channels that I mentioned, uh, including Forgotten Weapons, In Range TV, and. Uh, Tim from Military Arms Channel, who I thought most definitely would shoot me a reply, be like, at least, hey, yeah, I'll look into it, because he was promised the very first working STG-44 that came off the line. Talked to a guy that's had an order in for a stick 44, coincidentally, through him and Mac, and uh, he's local to Copper, uh, Copper Gunworks, or Copper Customs which is Tim from Military Arm Channel, that's his gun store. Uh, turns out that they stopped selling, I want to say it was last year, the guy said, or the year. Yeah, I want to say it was either early last year or early this year. They stopped selling Hill and Mac uh, set me kits, build kits. Uh, reason cited was uh, the guy the guy stood up for Tim, you know, Tim's stand-up guy. This is not, I truly believe that that man is pretty much as he is on camera, off camera. 
Um, but the reason that was cited to this person that told me through the Helen Mac uh, Facebook page, he stopped carrying their products because their products were garbage. They were selling beat to piss internals off of uh, less than primo uh, receiver kits. You can either stamp your own or buy a pre-stamped one or you can buy the whole down promo. But after X amount of returns and uh, things that had to be fixed by Tim and his staff at Copper Customs, uh, they just stopped selling the product because it's crap. Um, like I was saying earlier, I can't tell you how to spend your money. And I'm not and I'm not talking smack and I'm not slandering and nothing I'm saying is not true. This is all based in fact. You can call Copper Custom and ask, hey, you know, did you stop selling, you know, Hill and Mac gun products? Uh, you can go on YouTube, you can Google search, you can go on Facebook and you can see the posts for yourself on their page. There was a guy that was waiting 40 months. 40 months. 40 months. That's almost four years. It's eight months shy of four years for his pre-order to get filled. There's another guy that was waiting about the same length. Me and him, we talked a lot about it. Um, I'm doing this partially for two reasons. One, to let consumers know, don't shop there. Don't place a pre-order. Don't buy the gun until it is 100% shipping out the door. There's good YouTube reviews. There's good Google reviews. There's good Facebook reviews. or Wherever you get your gun information from, make sure that you wait and hold on to your $2,000. Keep it in a separate bank account or a piggy bank or the back wallet or your back pocket or wherever you keep your extra money and wait if you really want this gun. If this gun comes out and it's successful, and I mean it's really successful, like I'll wait a year after it's out if it ever comes out, and I don't think it will, I will buy one. But at this point in time, I can't recommend the company. You shouldn't shop there. Uh, at least you shouldn't pre-order an STG44. Um, I can't tell you don't buy a set me kit from them, but from what I heard, I would shy away from that. I would find somebody else to get a, uh, something similar to a set me G3 clone or something. But I'm going to end this video out because I feel like I'm rambling. I just want you to know that a full paid in full customer has been yelled at over the phone, told to shut up and wait for my order. They are now screening their phone calls. There's good evidence for that. I can't say they are definitely, but I feel like they're screening their phone calls. They're selectively calling people back. They have yet to switch parts manufacturers. It's always the same excuse with them. And more than likely, they are probably in the next, in my personal view of the matter, when I step out and look at it, um, pretty sure within the next 12 months, uh, Hill and Mac Gunworks is probably going to file a Chapter 11 bankruptcy. And then you are not going to be able to get your money back from them. You will have to file a class action lawsuit and sue them, and it will take you even longer um, to get your money back. So, um, if ever, because technically, if they file a Chapter 11, depending on what type of bankruptcy they file, uh, they could actually not be held liable for even lawsuit. Um, lawsuit, not uh, suits to be settled. Um, so... Be Larry, be smart, research everything, and uh, lesson to be taken away from somebody who's telling you firsthand, do not ever pre-order a gun in full unless you know for a fact that it's already out and working. Anyways, uh, thanks for checking in with Shooting Bench. I hope everybody has a great day, and uh, be smart, carry on, and uh, support the second.